Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm out here shooting an AKM. This is a Chinese Polytech. I want to talk to you about muzzle devices, muzzle attachments, both flash suppressors and muzzle brakes. This is a 7.62 by 39 AKM, so it has a pretty stout recoil. When you saw me firing it, firing it at the opening of the video, you'll notice that the barrel was kicking somewhat down. That's because of the slant muzzle brake that's on the rifle. I want to show you a couple of different muzzle devices from Manticore Arms that should not only tame the, the recoil of this particular rifle, but I have some other muzzle brakes or muzzle devices that will also help suppress flash. Let's take a look at some of those Manticore Arms suppressors and muzzle brakes. Okay, now I have the night brake on here from Manticore Arms. This is a muzzle brake. This is supposed to reduce or eliminate muzzle rise with rifles in 7.62 by 39. This particular muzzle device has a 14 by one left hand thread on it, so it'll fit most standard AKMs, including like the Draco or Chinese imports, rifles like that. Let's take a look at this rifle being fired and see how effective this night brake is. From my end behind the rifle, it seems to be very effective. This is the Arsenal SGL 21, which is a 7.62 by 39 rifle. This has a standard AK100 series muzzle device on the end, which is very similar to the AK74. It's in a very effective break, but it's not so effective at suppressing the flash of the rifle. Let's take a look at it being fired. As you can see, it has a pretty pronounced muzzle flash. However, the recoil is reduced as compared to the Chinese AKM I was firing just a few minutes ago. Let's put a muzzle brake on this from Manticore Arms that has the 24 millimeter thread and see how it performs as in terms of a muzzle brake versus a flash suppressor, which we'll put on next after we put that on. Now I have on this rifle, the Manticore Arms Night Brake. Now this is the exact same design as the brake we just looked at on the 7.62 by 39 AKM with the 14 by one left hand thread. This is a 24 millimeter thread for this rifle, but again, it's the exact same design. Now let's take a look at how effective this break is at reducing the recoil of the rifle. I'm gonna fire 10 rounds. Again, the recoil is really, really dampened. I would say it's about as good, maybe just a little bit better than the standard AK-100 series brake that comes on the rifle. I also fired this brake at night, and I'll show you a little bit of that video here now, of what it looks like being fired at dusk and in the evening, how pronounced the muzzle flash is. I'll also, also show you some video of this rifle being fired at night with no muzzle device at all. The 7.62 by 39 produces a huge fireball with no muzzle device installed. This brake actually tames that, that muzzle flash just a little bit, uh, it doesn't really reduce the flash hardly at all though, but it does tame it just a little bit. Let's take a look at a flash suppressor for the 24 millimeter thread for this rifle. Now, something else I want to point out, this particular muzzle device, both the devices I'm going to show you now, the 24 millimeter devices are good for both 5.45 by 39 rifles and 7.62 by 39 rifles. It's the exact same break, you can move them between the rifles. You don't have to worry about buying caliber specific. Now I have the Night Shroud on the 7.62 by 39 Arsenal. The Night Shroud is a flash suppressor and I fired this at, at night with this on the, this particular rifle. Now again, remember the 7.62 by 39 produces a magnificent fireball at night with no muzzle device. So I'll show you some video of this being fired at night with the night shroud on this rifle. I'll show you some video both with a bare barrel, no muzzle device, and I'll show you some video of this with the uh, night shroud in place. But let's take a look at it being fired here in the daylight and I'll show you how well it performs. I can't see any muzzle flash over the sights whatsoever. Now, keep in mind, muzzle brakes are effective at reducing or taming recoil. Even though I say this thing kicks quite a bit for a rifle, it really doesn't. I mean, with a bare barrel, they jump around a little bit, but they're totally controllable if you learn how to work with your rifle. The muzzle brake just makes controlling it a little bit easier. It's not a tool for, to, in, to use in exchange for training. You really need to learn how to control the recoil of your rifle. With that being said, I still find this rifle to be very controllable with the night shroud in place, which really doesn't act as a muzzle brake at all, but it is a very effective flash suppressor. These are the three muzzle devices I have for Manticore Arms. Two of them are for, tw for 24 millimeter threads, and this one is for a 14 by one left hand thread for the AKM that we opened the video with. The first one I wanna talk about is the night shroud for 24 millimeter. The night shroud retails for $39.95, and it is a flash suppressor that works quite well. It'll fit any 24 millimeter thread. It also is made of 8620, 
steel and it has a black oxidized finish for a really durable finish. It's also safe to use on 22 to 308 caliber rifles, so you can put on a 7.62 by 39 rifle or a 5.45 by 39 rifle. One of the other features about it is you'll notice it has a lot of detent locking recesses here, so you can screw it down nice and tight and flush. Next we have the night brake for 24 millimeter. Again, it's made out of 8620 steel and has a black oxidized finish. Now, all of these are made in the U.S. and count as a U.S. compliance part. I also want to point that out. With the 24 millimeter threads, it just has the one locking detent, but it's not critical that you line it up perfectly. Again, this thing will work on 7.62 by 39 rifles or it will work on 5.45 by 39 rifles. On the bottom, you'll notice it's solid. There are no ports drilled and then around the top there's various ports drilled. That's how the brake works. And now this one retails for uh, $47.95. Finally, we have the night shroud for the 14 by one left hand for the AKM. Again, it's the same design as the 24 millimeter and this one retails for $57.95. It just has the one locking recess and again is made out of 8620 steel with a black oxidized finish. All of these devices are sold through exclusively through Ratworks. So if you want to order these, you can't purchase them from the Manticore Arms website. You'll want to go to the Ratworks website, which I'll link to down below. I want to close out the video by showing you some video that I shot in low light conditions with all of these devices on various different rifles ranging from 7.62 by 39 to 5.45 by 39. Overall I found that these work quite well. The flash suppressor works really well on the AK. I'm pretty impressed with it. The 7.62 by 39 is a very tough cartridge to, to suppress the flash on. It does a, a very good job of doing it and it works even better on the 5.45 by 39. The muzzle brakes work great on both rifles, the 7.62 by 39 rifles. I really don't find it's necessary on the 5.45 by 39, but it does does fit and maybe I can tell just a little bit of, of brake activity going on there. It doesn't really um, tame the recoil all that much because a rifle honestly doesn't have that much recoil. But on the 308 or the 30 caliber AK it works quite well. If you guys have any questions about these muzzle devices you can ask those questions on our Facebook page. I'll put a link down below. Now let's jump over to some video of these muzzle devices being fired at night. Thanks for watching everybody.